D to DNY Real World HVAC Simplified And now, in this video No, I will not be showing you How to install this thermostat here This Honeywell Home Vision Pro Red Link 8000 series thermostat I will not be doing that Also, I will not be showing you how to install this Um Red link internet gateway from Honeywell. No, no. Nor this sensor right here, temperature sensor from Honeywell. It's also a red link. Um, all these um, three goes together, works together. Um, also, have this here. This is a CTI board from Train. And um, I will not be showing you how to install this at all. Okay, this is a CTI that's got an acronym for a conventional thermostat interface board. I'm going to tell you more about this in a little bit. Um, but in this video, I'm going to tell you how all these three combined can solve your problem permanently. So if you're a mechanic, if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you're a pro, whatever. This right here solve my problems several times so it does a, such a good job it's so reliable it's so it's so precision it's so good there's nothing out there in the market that i know of that could be this and it solves my problem several times right and i'm gonna tell you why this combination what problems it will solve stay tuned now before we get into the video as always um if you have not subscribed, I want you to go ahead and do so right now, right? And smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. In addition, there has been some people, <clears throat> like in the comment section, they'll be commenting, like I help them out. And I guess I did such a good job of helping them out. I'm, you know, I, I, do my, I do my best, guys. I try. Right? And they goes like, um, is there a way we could pay you? I feel so bad. You know, can we give you something? How can we? And I said, okay, don't worry about it, right? So, you know, it's, it's, it's been quite a few times that happened. Like more than a few times. It's, it's, it's a lot of times. A lot of times. What am I talking about? So, anyways. So, I went ahead and I had added um, my uh, PayPal link to, to the About section of my channel. And also, I um, over there, I put a, uh, a shipping address. So, any one of you guys, guys, other times, you know, you as my subscribers, you know who you are. You have asked... You know, I want to send you a camera gear or something like that, you know. And I said, okay, don't worry about it. So now I got an address there. You can, you can send me stuff if you want, all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. I thank you in advance, all right? So again, if you want to buy me a coffee, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you. So before I show you all that stuff in my, on my page, on my on that page, my channel, I'm going to sh this is the reason why. Let me hit play right here. And now... In this video, that's poor quality. Installing 720p, I guess. This Vision Pro 8000 series thermostat. Okay, phone. okay. So you see that, right? This is real time. This is my this is my page. This is my this is my keep saying page. This is my channel. So yeah, that, the reason why I, I'm not going to do videos of me, I'm about, I'm about to install all this right here. Now all of this I'm about to be installed right now. All right, you can see I'm in the van. Um, I'm about to get to work, guys. But I figured this stuff has solved my problem so many times. Such as, these are such awesome products. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Honorable does not sponsor sponsors, sponsor. Spon is not a sponsor of this video. Um, nor train. But um particularly these combinations right here, right? Um the sensor and all. I'd solved my problem so many times. And it does such an awesome job. I figured I have to share with you guys because if any one of you having the same problems or same issues, you can please your customer, be the hero, you know, make your life easier or whatever. So I want to share with you guys. But I don't have to do a video on us because like installing it because I got videos already. Like, look, you see, there's videos already. Like, go check it out, right? All right, let me show you like how to see the about section if you don't know how to do that on YouTube. Let me show you. Okay, so this is how you'll get to the about section if you don't know how to how to do that. Okay, so um, uh, you'll just type in, you know, as you see here, D two D N Y real world HVAC, real world HVAC simplified <clears throat> in your search, search it. My page will pop up. My 
channel will pop up and you'll get all the good stuff you know this is all my stuff all my stuff all my stuff all my stuff well i guess not all my stuff there's some other stuff on the bottom there but nonetheless you, you get the idea and once you're here once you're here guys um once you're here I don't know why does other people's stuff show up when you show it anyway i guess youtube squeeze them in there somehow but anyways once you're on there you can just click the icon like so boom and you're on the home page now, this is all d2d baby all d2 let me see if i could find a black red link video anyways it's there you guys can look for it yourself i don't want to waste time on that right now so once you're here you scroll over to about click on that voila everything right there buy me a coffee click on that it's going to take you to paypal if you have paypal that's the only unfortunately that's the only way you could do it all right if you want to send me anything this is the mailing address right here this is the p.o box address you can just send me right here all right so this is here for you guys so people always asking me in the past um you know you know can we do that there you go that's how you do it all right so let's get back into the video now um guys so if you've got a situation where um, you have to control where the customer is complaining that it's too hot. So you've got one unit that controls a large room. It could be residential. It could be um, um, commercial. doesn't matter. you got one unit that controls a large room. Okay. So, and they're complaining that this end of the room is too cold. Um, this end of the room is too hot. What do you do? How can you solve this? And you go, well, I could like get some thermostat and then run like remote sensors, right? The first thing to mind, remote sensors, run the wire. Okay, you can do that, but it ain't going to be as good as this. I'll tell you that much. Um, um, so with this setup, you got a one end of the room that's cold. What you do, you tell the customer you're going to get them something like this, all right? And you'll get two sensors in that case. Um, one sensor you'll put in the cold end of the room. The other sensor you'll put you'll put in the in the in the um hot end of the room and what happen is when when you sync them up to the to the thermostat wirelessly and by the way these are more accurate than the wired version of these same sensors so there's some wired version wired version if you want to go that, if you want to go that route um and i don't i don't see why you would because these are more accurate okay but if you want to go that route they have the wired versions um, and this, the wired, the wired version works with this thermostat as well. And I'm going to tell you when you'll have to use the wired version, right? I'm going to get to that. But yeah, so you can, hot, cold, hot side, cold side, two of them, wirelessly connected back, wirelessly connected back to the, connected back to the, uh, thermostat. And then what they do, let's say the hot side is 75 and the cold side is 65. I mean, it's like crazy extreme, but you know, you, what it will do, the thermostat algorithm will hide them up. 65 and 75 and divide it by two and then control the room to that temperature in addition the temperature which you see in the thermostat is that number is that average number right so it takes the two readings are the six up to six sensors you can go in this up to six wireless sensors are the so it takes the readings of the six sensors average it out and shows you that average on the screen and that's your controlling temperature baby you uh, that average number you can go further into the settings and you can um, like offset that number plus or minus four degrees if you want. Right? Whatever it's reading. It's awesome. So the reason why I'm, I am uh, using this gateway, the, the Red Link gateway, right? So you can have the remote app and, you know, tablet, smartphone controlled from the thermostat, at the thermostat, is simple because... With the red link version of this of this thermostat, you don't have the capability of getting both Wi-Fi and red link. So if you purchase, there's a Wi-Fi version of this thermostat, and with the Wi-Fi version, you go directly to, to the, directly to the app without any middleman. You don't need any red link. I mean, you don't need any gateway. Um, so. But the problem with the uh, Wi-Fi, if you don't know, if you don't know or figure it out already, um, the Wi-Fi thermostat does not have the capability of using the Red Link functions. It doesn't come. It doesn't have Red Link radio in here. It's just Wi-Fi. 
All right, so you're going to miss out on this. You're going to have to use the wired sensor. Now, the, 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 again, like I said, the wired sensor is not as good as these. And you're going to have to run those wires. You have to factor in the resistance of the wires if you want to put six. Imagine uh, doing six of six wired sensors. How many wires you have to run across the space? Oh, man. <laughs> and then all that resistance, all that inaccuracies. Oh, forget about it. Interference. You're running these wires past the high voltage wires in the ceiling. Forget about it. All right. So this is the way to go. All right. So, yeah. Uh, so you, you don't want you. That's the reason why you don't want to use the Wi-Fi version. You want, If you want to have remote access, the customer wants remote access um, to the app. Then you just use the same setup right here with up to six wireless sensors. Put them wherever you want. And from what I was told, I could be mistaken, but I think when I was talking to Unwell about these and I've been using these quite some time. You can see them on my channel. I've got videos and videos and videos and videos and videos. Um, they're good. They're if you guys know of anything that's better than these, I want you guys to leave it in the comment section. Comment in the comment section. Leave it there. Let me see. Because the, you, you you could find something that could top the functions that I'm talking about to solve these problems better. Right? To solve the problems of hot and cold, um, uneven temperatures, one unit controlling a large area, whether it be commercial or residential. Anything that looks as good, as sleek, you know, nice, looks as good as this, and functions, functions as good, as reliable as this, leave it in the comment section. So, um, yeah, um, so with this, the red link, um, Unwell had told me, don't quote me on this, I could be mistaken, I think they were saying like, it, um, in an open range, no interference, it could, the, the red link signal goes up to a mile, something like that. It's like military grade shit. I, I, I can't probably can't say stuff in that stuff I did, but military grade stuff, right? Right? <laughs> military grade stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah. A mile. So if you're in the building, you know, 200 feet, third floor, second floor, whatever, it's gonna make it, it's gonna get to. I've used it in several enough where I know that it's gonna work. Alright. Um, so you connect from here to here, red link, and then from here. You plug in Cat5 to your directly to your router. All right, it comes with the wire in the box, right? Boom. And so you, when I've installed the the Wi-Fi version, sometimes the customer would call me and go, "Oh, the thermostat doesn't work," or "I can't I can't connect to my thermostat. The app doesn't work," simply because the the Wi-Fi signal is not as strong. So the router or the router, the signal fell out, and so you know they can't connect to the thermostat anymore. But with this right here. You don't have that problem. The red link signal is rock solid and you're wired to your router. So you never, unless you didn't pay your internet bill, you ain't going to worry about no fallout. You're going to be good. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So this right here, got a video on this too on my channel. Um, this is a uh, C uh, train CTI board. And what it is, you know, if you're a pro, you know, the train comes with your own proprietary thermostat which doesn't have RGY, the regular conventional terminals, like this thermostat right here. So you're gonna need one of these boards. If it's a Voyager rooftop unit and stuff like that, they don't, they have like these numbered terminals for this specific train thermostat. You can't use one of these on there. So you have to use one of these um, CTI conventional, CTI or conventional thermostat interface board from train to do that. I got a video on my channel doing that already, so go watch it, go check it out. Um, yeah, so if the train rooftop unit has Reliatel, if it comes with Reliatel, then you can use your buy. You can do, you can go both ways. Literally, you can use this. You can. You don't need this one. You don't need the CTI board. So you can use a regular thermostat if it has Reliatel in the rooftop unit, in the train rooftop unit, or train RTU, train RTUs. Uh, um, you can use a regular thermostat, or you can use a train thermostat. You know. You don't need this board. If it doesn't, just a Voyager with the you know, you know, old school stuff, old school train. Yes, you need that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you got a question about the setup right here, man? Again, leave in the comment section. I'd like to you guys to leave in the comments too, if you could, if you have a better setup than this to solve that problem. Hot spots, cold spots, whether it be residential, whether it be commercial, whether you're trying to use like one, um, unit to control like two rooms. I don't know. You know, one big rooftop unit, one large split unit. I don't know. But this solved that problem.
hot spots, cold spots, uneven temperatures, up to six sensors. That, that's it. I'm going to go do this job right now. I'm going to be installing all of this. All right. All this right here. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Love you, guys.